Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or whoever stopped by. Welcome to Map to Love. This is going to be your June reading or the next four weeks. We are going to be entering winter or summer solstice, depending on where you're at. So it's going to be summer for me over here in the Arizona area. So we're going to tune into Twin Flame Soulmate Divine Partner Summer Love Connections. What energy is coming towards you this summer? What energy is coming towards you and your person in your current situation, if that's the case? Take it how it resonates. Happy Father's Day to all the Divine Fathers, and Happy Father's Day to all the mothers that play both roles. Because I am a Virgo, and I play both roles. That's why I say that, because I know there's a lot of you that do. But there's also a lot of beautiful fathers out there, and I love you all. Let's see. What energy is coming towards you? My God, I knew this was going to happen. Okay, three times Scorpio energy has come up, Virgo. So I don't know if there's just a massive amount of people that are Scorpios or you have Scorpio in your chart. I know I do or your person does. But this is the energy that keeps coming through. I knew it too. And I shuffled so many times. I said, Spirit, if that dang Scorpio energy comes out again, I'm going to have to make a big deal about it for Virgo. Because Taurus, it came out for Taurus. I feel like it came out for Aquarius as well. I, I don't know. There's the animal. The, the animal coming out. Scorpio's coming out. The mystery, the mysterious people of the world coming out to sh show themselves to you, Virgo. So whether it's a Scorpio or not, this person could exude these kind of characteristics. They could have Scorpio in their chart, okay? Transformative, intense, passionate, secretive, carnal, thorough, obsessive, intimate, primal, lusty, deep, eternal, resourceful, mysterious, regenerative, could be compulsive, destructive, and manipulative if they're in the negative lower vibration energy um, the snake, I always feel like that, you know, death of the old and the rebirth shedding the old skin. Some type of healing energy comes out of this person. They're very much connected to their animal instincts, their intuition. They like to dive deep. They're very comfortable with the shadows. They could have lived a good portion of their life in the shadows. And they're very comfortable there because they understand it. Okay. Very transformative person. They're going to transform your life in some way. And they may trigger you, Virgo, just so you know, but trigger you in a good way that shows you what you need to release, that this person is really good uh, for you for that. And I feel they'll be very healing to you, Virgo. You're, you know, healers of the world. You're very healing and compassionate. Um, and I feel like this person's going to do that for you because me, myself, as an actual healer, that I do that to help others reach out to me if you're guided. But I, I desire someone that, that is my healer. And so I feel like that, that you're going to get your healer or the person you're with is this way. And if they aren't a Scorpio and you're in a current relationship, they're going to, this summer, they're going to be in this very intense, carnal, kind of primal energy, wanting to dive deep, exploring the mysteries of life, this really intense, passionate energy coming out of your person which is always fun. Okay, what else can you tell us about Virgo's person, the energy coming towards Virgo this summer? Ooh, God. Wow. Okay, let's just soak that in. So this person is godlike in nature. They're very connected to God. They're very highly evolved. Um, whoa. Okay, the shadow attributes are despotism and cruelty using power to control people. Okay, I don't feel that way at all, but I mean, th that's just from the collective energy. I don't feel that they're in their shadows. They could have been very controlling before. They could have had a lot of people and energies around them that are controlling. And when that happens, sometimes, you know, people, when they decide to go towards the light, which I know this person is, because I can feel it, they don't want to be like that. So they're like the opposite of that which is benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. Yeah, they know how powerful they are. They're very connected to the light. They're very connected to the higher part of them. And they do have a direct connection to God, to the universe, to source. 
And they kind of exude, like when they stand in their power in full alignment of the light, they exude qualities like a god, godlike qualities, like just really powerful, transformative qualities about this person. They may be very connected and very interested in all the different gods and goddesses. Like that may be something that they become interested in, right? And they start diving into the mysteries of that. What else can you tell us about Virgo's lover? Rebellion, <laughs> upstart, tumult, revolution. They are a high, yeah, 33, high level master. They rebel against conformity. They may be upstart in a business. They may be like business minded. They may have an idea for something to get started. Part of a revolution, leading people. They're a leader, right? That's what I mean. It's like when they, whether they have or not, this person that's coming in, when they step into their full power, they exude the light so strong. I feel like the two of you, holy moly, you're going to start a revolution. You're going to do something together. You're going to start something together, a business together. There's something there, spiritually based business it could be. But there is something about rebelling. They rebel against fear. They rebel against lies. I mean, they are like the truth, the light. They're a rebel. They don't follow the pack. They, they lead the way. Whoa. This is a very powerful energy, Virgo, that's coming your way. Or this is your person and you're like, yeah. I mean, you could even resonate with this Virgo being you. But like there's something about the connection that's just like, whoa. It's, it, it's super intense. Very powerful. And, they, and, and I love all the vampire movies. They may really like that type of energy. But, you know, watching vampires, watching all those types of things. Strange companions in stranger places. Challenges? Use your imagination. So this person's extremely imaginative. You know, Alice in Wonderland, eat me, drink me. They may like psychedelics. I mean, that could be something that they, or naturally their mind is expanded that way, much like this, like why I picked this um, tapestry because it's very psychedelic in nature. I'm very attracted to those types of things. You may be too, Virgo, but your person is maybe kind of strange. They may be different or it may be strange the way that you meet or the way that you come together or you're from two different worlds, but somehow it mixes. I don't know. You may meet, you may have met them or meet them in kind of a weird place that you weren't expecting. Like, I don't know, you go to support someone and you go, you know, to some kind of rally or some kind of event and you meet this person and it's like the way that you meet them is very interesting and mysterious and it's kind of strange because Scorpio energy can be that strange mysterious energy but it's interesting <laughs> so spirit is saying when this person comes in or if this is your person use your imagination here this person is very imaginative they have all these beautiful ideas they see beyond the 3d illusions and it's like kind of strange but it works <laughs> And with the tarot of sexual magic, we're going to see what is working to manifest to get started here, Virgo, with this mysterious rebel. It, within the next four weeks and then continue on through the summer. So let's see what we got. It's heating up in love. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's heating up. That animal in you, that animal in them is like, I just want to feed you and nourish you and kiss you and move forward with you there's some kind of passion there's there's communication this is travel this is just forward movement and, and in a very intense way see that's that intense energy coming through when you get together it's just gonna be like wow <laughs> I 
I don't know, maybe you're meeting them somewhere like at a party and you're outside and then you just skip off to be alone because you're like, I just want to be with you. I don't could be. Trust your intuition here. Be playful. Things are being revealed. See the mysteries, the secrets are being revealed. You know, if you're, you're the feminine Virgo, you are the high priestess. Like, you know, you have those godlike qualities as well. You're very much connected to the divine. I can feel it. Be playful with your approach, though, as things are revealed, as you're revealing yourself. And trust your intuition here for sure. Both of you are highly intuitive people. Yeah, there's an opportunity here to leave the past behind. Virgo, you've been left in the dark. You've been left out in the cold. Disregarded. Doors shut in your face. I know, you've experienced it, so have I. I can feel this energy, but look at this. There's romance coming in. There's a coming together. Things are changing. Five is all about changes. And something about beautiful flowers and being outside and, um, you know, it could be violin, could be music. It could be a musical event you're going to. I don't know. There's something about that. But there's, there's a lot of romance. There's a lot of growth in this connection. An opportunity to finally leave the past behind. Yeah, look at this. And it's solid and grounded Virgo. Could be another earth energy coming forward. But this person is very grounded. The masculine is very grounded. Very extremely passionate. Strong. Stamina. And has something to offer. The feminine. Like I want to offer this to you. I want. This is a grounded, stable, solid offer. Coming in. This masculine has really been thinking about this offer. I mean, they're very grounded in it. It may have taken them a little while, right? Yeah, I want to move forward. There's forward movement here on this connection. Travel. You could be traveling with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. Yeah, you could be traveling to see one another. You, there, This offer could come forward to go on a vacation, to go somewhere to travel. To just do something that's kind of like outside of the box. I'm telling you, for someone, <laughs> there is a party or some kind of wedding or something that you're going to be at and you are going to skip off together. And um, yeah, I, I, I know that's going to happen for someone. I would, I would um, you know, you don't have to give me details, but I would like to know if that's, that happens to you. Because <laughs> this feels like it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a new cycle. And I feel like the fem if you're the feminine listening, which I feel like a lot of feminines listen, but there, there's masculines too, and I appreciate all of you. I feel like it's just you know. Trust your intuition here. It's like you know. You know this is meant for you. You know this is a new cycle. Allow yourself to receive this love, to receive this forward movement, this offer. And this is a lot of abundance and a lot of growth in this new cycle. It's a fertile time. Creative projects taking off, making babies, you know, with the two lovebirds kissing right here in the picture. It's just, wow. It's a whole new cycle. And I feel like you're ready for it. Like, it's like you want it, yeah. I want you to pour your love all over me. So this is the masculine. It has pictures of you. It's been watching you. Thinking about pouring their cup of love all over you. Thinking about what this is going to look like in the material world of you coming together. I just feel that this masculine is just all about you. Feminine. Finally, someone that's all about you. Because I feel like you're the type of person that's all about everyone else. This person is all about you. Like I felt from the beginning, your healer. Someone that's coming in to be there for you. Because you deserve that. Yeah. It, and it's like you may be in some kind of separation. I do feel like there's some kind of distance or there has been some kind of separation. Someone needs to travel. There's traveling involved. And it's like feminines. I feel like you're pushing away anyone else. Like you're like, no, I want my divine partner. I want the sacred love. I want the person that I know I'm meant to be with that, that makes me feel peaceful and at home. And trust your intuition here. And it's like being in your own energy is good right now. Right? Being the hermit that you are. Make sure you're healed because the four of swords is healing from the three of swords. I do feel like for some of you, 
that you've pushed away someone else because you know that there's there's something better that you're worth more and it's um, important to you know really go within and feel into your heart space and trust your intuition here so you may be connecting with your person in meditation too because you're so connected to God's source and so are they. And I feel like you can connect, even if you're apart, you can connect in the energetic realms. And if you are concerned that your person is maybe seeing other people or, you know, things like that, I, I don't get that at all. I, I don't, I get that they've been celibate uh, if, you know, they're not with you. That's what I'm feeling. And look at there's love. There's love coming into your connection. There's an opportunity to come together and enjoy this love, uh, an offer in love, an offer that you'll love, a path that you'll love. Yeah. It's about like the masculine thinking. How can I share my cup? I just want to share it with you. I just want to pour it all over you. <laughs> I just want to offer it to you. So there's definitely an offer in love. And this masculine is emotionally intelligent is very connected to their emotions. See that Scorpio come through again. You see that energy coming through. And they may be a little secretive. They may not talk a lot. Trust what your heart is telling you with this person. Yeah, they don't talk a lot because they get frustrated. They, they, they really, really care about the words that come out of their mouth. They're very focused on that. They want this. They want to get married. They want to dance with you in the moonlight. They just want to be with you. They want the romance. This is the knave of chalices. So the page of cups. Like, I don't know what to say. I want to offer this, but I don't know what to say. So sometimes I don't say anything at all, but I'm trying to show you. This person will show you. Because talk is cheap. We all know talk is cheap. This person is going to show you. And I feel like they're working on composing something, a love letter, an offer. What am I going to say? Um, you know, what are the details of this? How am I going to put this offer forward? It could be a masculine coming in and offering you an opportunity for work as well. And it's like an opportunity that you're going to love. And it's a very solid offer. And look at this. I love that these came out together. Because like... I mean, this is how you're going to feel. I'm telling you, you're going to be somewhere and you're going to be hiking. You're going to be somewhere and you're just going to be like, I can't stand it anymore. I want to drop the burdens. I have to be with you. My animal instincts. I just can't, like, I can't control it anymore. It's like, it's on, baby. It's on like Donkey Kong. I mean, whoa, is there a lot of passion ripping one another's clothes off? I mean, you have some fun times ahead, Virgo. <laughs> and then this is just like, you know, wishes coming true. The nine of cups, like, I, like, deep conversations like heartfelt like see see how he's like the masculine or he or she but it's a he in the cards right because it's a man i just i want to have the right words like ah this isn't working like maybe be up at night with this cat they may be up at night thinking about this but they they come to this place where they're like okay now i'm ready and they're, they're very serious like it's very heartfelt whatever's coming out of their mouth is very heartfelt like heartfelt communication coming in I just want to drop the burdens. I want to move forward. I have to be with you. So some kind of communication, some kind of offer, some kind of opportunity coming your way, Virgo. And it, it's very passionate. And this person cares about what they say. They care about you. They've been working on themselves. They're very grounded and they feel very passionate towards you. There's no doubt about that. And look what's at the bottom. So the five of wands. Yeah. Yeah. This can be um, socializing, getting out to parties. I'm telling you, there is something about a party, getting out, socializing, uh, leaving behind toxicity and drama and, and really changing things and moving towards something else. Like, But this can speak of getting out there. And look, commitment. I'm choosing you. There's commitment coming in. Higher level of commitment. See the two birds flying the Hierophant Taurus energy, right? More earth energy coming through. This is a very spiritual person, someone that's... Um, very connected to a particular religion could be as well but they're very committed they live their life with integrity this is higher level of commitment coming in that's what this offer is it's a higher level of commitment it's something someone of higher vibration or your person is leveling up to higher vibration and going to communicate more about their feelings and, and offer you something here that's that's a commitment i mean this could be your ring this can be marriage this is a commitment recommitting to you i hear that yeah Look at that. New beginnings in communication, Virgo. So a brand new start here with the Ace of Swords.
Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So always be true to yourself, Virgo. Go after the person that you want. Be true to you. Be honest. Be open. Be authentic. That's your key here. And I feel like this person will be true to you. Very true to you. Very focused on you. Very much all about you. And that may be overwhelming for you because you're not used to that. Because that's how you are with other people. But the, but allow it. Let, let yourself be loved. You deserve to be loved, Virgo. And I got these new cards. The Shaman's Dream Oracle. So we're going to see what one comes out for you, Virgo. Oh, Falling Angel spiritual narcolepsy i feel like that you both are earth angels this person may consider you an earth angel you may say that they're an earth angel there's something about an angel oh that's so beautiful the angels are protecting you and the 19 is a 10 so that's ending a cycle for these brand new beautiful peaceful beginnings but let's see what the shaman's dream oracle has to say about this falling angel Falling unconscious. You are being cautioned now not to fall asleep or go unconscious. You have been flying above the strife and suffering of the world in angelic bliss. However, you risk being seduced by the beauty and comfort of your situation, losing track of your aspirations, your wings. As you fall, you pick up speed, heading towards the trees below and a possible nasty landing. Remember that all you need do to stop being a falling angel is to spread your wings to halt your descent and then find an updraft again do not be seduced by the fallen angels your supposed friends and companions who are ready to use you for their pleasure and have only their own interests in mind as you soar once more in flight receive the gift of the falling angel as an invitation to study the forest from above the trees in other words, to analyze your situation from a higher perspective without being entangled in its thorny branches. Once you understand what needs to be done, head back to your lofty heights and stand by for the right moment. Action you take now may backfire. Stay conscious and wait until you are guided to change. You will know when the time is right. Yeah, I feel like the, the, this that five of wands makes me feel like this and this pushing away how I felt earlier. I feel like you have had people in your life that take advantage of you, friends, family, companions, lovers, and no more are you allowing that. Don't allow yourself to be so far up in the clouds too that you're not realizing what's happening in your physical reality and, and the way people might be taking advantage of you, okay? And there is change happening, and you'll know when it's time to make that decision, when it's time to go after it, when it's time to just let go and be together with this person. Like, you're going to know. Stay aware. Stay awake. Focus on the happiness. Focus on the joy. Focus on the wish fulfillment. Be comfortable in your own energy, right? And when it's time, it's going to happen. Because that eight of wands is like that. When it's time, it's like, whoop, it happens. And you're moving forward with the chariot energy. It's, so it's, it's, it's happening, is what spirit wants to say. So let everything that doesn't serve you fall away and open up to this. You're, you're heavily protected, Virgo. Trust your intuition here. I'm sending you all so much love.